Talking about Mr. Madoff, the SEC apparently had warnings of Bernie Madoff's crimes going back to 1999, which you weren't in office at that time or appointed. There were also red flags in the Stanford case, as we just talked about. How do you explain the fact in, in two of the biggest, most uh, insidious swindles of our generation, the SEC regulators were asleep at the switch? Yeah, I mean, it, obviously there are grave concerns about how the SEC handled those two cases. I think, you know, part of the, what happened was they were simply not able to compete with the fraudsters. You know, Bernie Madoff, for example, was very effective in sort of playing the SEC folks in a variety of ways. He would not uh, allow them to talk to anybody else in his office other than him. Uh, when somebody else, they would try to talk to somebody else, he would usher them outside the door. Uh, he would flatter them, give them certain information that they didn't know. Um, and then when he, they asked uh, for documents that he didn't want to provide, he would get very angry. Um, and so, you know, I think he was able in some way to manipulate the SEC folks. Uh, they were mostly junior examiners uh, and some junior investigators who were working on the case. And uh, I think that, you know, in, in some ways they were overmatched.